Tonight I'm going to cook um, Punk's most famous midweek dinner and it is of course the lobster thermidor and the ingredients I am using today are um, parmesan cheese then we need an onion and we need some uh, double cream or I think sometimes it's called heavy cream then of course we need some English mustard some olive oil some cheddar cheese for a little bit of fun, a bit of brandy and of course uh, the star for tonight um, this is a Canadian lobster um, unfortunately it's pre-cooked so normally I would use um, a lobster which is still alive but I couldn't get any living lobsters so I will stick with uh, this little beauty here um, on the other hand this will save me some time smashing right right ladies and gentlemen uh, and now let's get started right right ladies and gentlemen the first thing to do is uh, grab your parmesan and grate uh, 250 grams of parmesan um, do not use the pre-grated stuff um, because this is disgusting so um, 250 grams of parmesan Woo! after that much grating it's time for recipe Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, um, get your freshly grated parmesan um, uh, set aside until needed. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now uh, get one onion, cut off the top and the roots, then peel it like so. Get rid of the outer layer and now cut your onion in half and finally dice it like so and repeat with the other half. Smash in! Um, I want to make sure they are really finely diced so I chop through all the onions here that much chopping. It's time for the zippy. <sighs> right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And now, mm, grab yourself um, a large frying pan. To this at about I would say a tablespoon of olive oil 
bring this up to the heat, I would say medium high, smash it, and while you're waiting for your oil, it's getting up to the heat, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and when your oil is hot, add your onion. And then fry them. Um, give them a good stir. Make sure they don't catch any color. <coughs> and why? your onions are frying, it's time for a zippy. And prepare um, a shot glass of brandy. So um, this is a 36 milliliter uh, shot glass. Um, get your brandy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and meanwhile, um, get a measuring cup, like this one, then get your double cream, we need one liter of double cream, so now get your brandy, Heat it up. Then hopefully flame it off. I call already burnt. So now get a tablespoon of your uh, English mustard. This is a good stir. And now add about 750 ml of your um, double cream. Give this a good stir. And now bring this up to the boil, stirring constantly. Well, actually, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, as soon as uh, this comes to the boil, take off the heat, then whisk in your um, grated parmesan cheese, Then whisk in 250 grams of your cheddar cheese. Make sure it's well distributed. That much work, it's time for a zippy.
Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now get your lobster. Uh, normally, I prefer um, a living lobster. Um, I would chuck him into the freezer for one hour, just enough to knock him out, and then into boiling water. Um, and then immediately remove from the heat and let the lobster sit in the water for five to ten minutes but this time i only got a pre-cooked lobster which uh, saves a bit of time um, nevertheless i write down the recipe for a living lobster so remove the claws Then um, cut your lobster in half. Uh, you need a very sharp knife for this. Um, the lobster has a kind of a cross here. Um, so point your knife in there and then cut the lobster lengthwise. Then remove the flesh from the tail. And get rid of any nasty bits. Then crack open the claws with your back of the knife so uh, make sure you removed all the nasty bits the veins and all the stuff and now cut your lobster into chunks like so Get your lobster shells, fill in the meat, right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And now, um, preheat your grill. Um, yeah, I would say two hundred twenty-five. And why your grill or broiler or whatsoever is preheating. It's time for a recipe. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now um, get a um, baking tray lined with baking paper. Get your lobster on the baking tray, like so. And then uh, place them in the oven just to reheat. Uh, make sure you don't overcook the meat. So get them in the oven. Like so. Smashing. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and while your sauce is still, still warm, um, add the remaining cream. Give it a good mix. Give it a quick taste. Mm. 
the sauce is very creamy. <laughs> Um, the amount of the sauce is more than enough for six big lobsters, let's say 500 grams or so. Um, yeah, but this is proper stuff. Anyway, while you're a lobster. Sitting up, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, when your lobster is heated through, get them out of the oven. And then get your sauce all over the lobster. Like so. Meanwhile, uh, preheat your grill to maximum temperature. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now get your lobster back in the oven um, to brown off um, the cheese. Shouldn't take too long. And while you're waiting um, for the sauce getting browned, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and when your lobsters are nice golden brown on the top, just here and there, then it's time to play it up. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we have it. Uh, lobster thermidor. Nice and cheesy sauce. Well, pre presentation wise, I could do a bit more, but Let's fuck it! I have to eat lobster tonight! Yay! Anyway, as always, at this time, at this place, at this very moment, it's time for a tea. Bye-bye and see you next time.